hello busy dads and busy people everywhere. I've just gotten finished with what I think was the strongest training week of this year so far. I'm on a real high. I come back off my injury and I've managed to get way closer to the advanced parts of level four and ultimately to graduation than I have in months. Both of my six counts this week, I was able to hold 300. In one of them, I got 303 reps. And both of my Navy SEAL workouts were above 130, 133, and 134. These are really excellent results for me, especially compared to the results that I've been having over the past two or three weeks. I feel like I'm back at peak fitness and I'm ready to push forward to graduation. I can see a path for myself out of the thicket and I'm really feeling good about my training. And I wanted to take this opportunity just while it's fresh in my mind, to reflect on a few things that I think went right for me this week. And I'm not going to talk about the training sessions themselves so much as the way I prepared for them. First, I'll talk about some of the small hacks of the week, some of the small tricks that I pulled that I think really helped me. And then I'll briefly talk about um, what I think was a broader attitudinal shift in me this week. So first of all, in these workouts, I think I intelligently leveraged caffeine. A little while ago, um, I worked out without caffeine and had some excellent results and that convinced me um, that caffeine is not non-negotiable. Um, there are ways of getting, of performing very well without caffeine. However, this week I made a very intelligent use of caffeine. If you saw my video recently on my new approach to caffeine, you'll know that I've cut my consumption right down and I'm even taking weekends completely off caffeine. What that has done is driven my caffeine sensitivity way higher. I'm now way more sensitive to caffeine than I used to be, which means that I drink five times less caffeine than I used to, but I get what feels like five times more of a benefit. I take one dosage of caffeine per day, two hours after waking and a minimum of 12 hours before sleeping. And this week for three out of my four workouts, I deliberately timed my workout so that I would be working out within 10 minutes of ingesting that caffeine. And what I found is that my concentration through the workout, my ability not to waver and give in to the intimidation that you feel as you get into no man's land was way, way better than usual. I had a real sense of clarity and focus through those workouts that I think helped me stay strong, especially for the six count sessions. So the first thing I did differently this week was to make a really intelligent, pinpointed, targeted, strategic use of caffeine, something I would strongly recommend. The next thing that I did, and it's connected here, is I invested in my sleep. I went to bed the same time every night. I made sure that my caffeine was in, ingested way, way, way before my sleep, um, at least 12 hours, more like 13 hours beforehand. Um, I cut out screen time within two hours of sleeping, um, and I found that I was waking up very well rested. There was one night when my daughter was up in the night, and that, of course, was a problem, but for four out of the five nights, um, I had excellent quality sleep. I also really invested in my gut health and my diet. I made sure that I ate my food at the same time every day and um, I was very strict with myself about making sure that what I was eating was right. I was eating a lot of fruit and vegetables to help me digest the food that I was putting in. I was meeting my protein targets and I completely cut out any junk. And I think that that really helped. I also stayed on top of hydration. My first priority as soon as I woke up was to drink two or three glasses of water, and I kept drinking water throughout the morning so that by the time I got to my workout, I was well hydrated. So those are the small hacks that I made. They're more refinements than complete revolutions, but they really, really seem to have made a difference. But the broader attitudinal shift is I redefined my training practice to be more encompassing. I used to think that the only time I'm training is when I'm doing burpees. But now, I think of myself as someone who trains 24 hours a day. My diet is no longer just something I do that's disconnected from my training practice, it is its own practice. I'm building gut health, I'm building metabolic health, and in so doing, I'm putting myself in a position to maximize the energy that I put in so that I can perform well in my workouts. 
My approach to caffeine is a practice. I'm strategically leveraging the power of a drug um, at specific moments when I think it's going to help me rather than just passively ingesting it. My attitude to sleep is part of the Busy Dad program as well. I'm training my ability to sleep well through the night. Okay, and that is a practice and that is part of my training for the Busy Dead program. And so I've co-opted these things that I do into my training outlook. They're part of my training practice. And I think that broadening of my definition of what it is to be a burpee practitioner, where it includes all of those elements, even over the weekend, when I'm not training, when I'm spending my time with my daughter, when I'm just finding joy in, in the world completely independently of training, I'm also nourishing my training practice because I'm helping dissipate stress and fatigue and get myself ready for the next week. And so there are lots of little hacks, but the broader, broader lesson that I want you to take away, that I'm taking away from this week, is that I want you to expand your conception of what it is to be a burpee practitioner until it includes all aspects of your life, everything that pertains to self-improvement, self-maintenance and flourishing. I hope those meditations are uh, beneficial for some of you. I've had a really, really good training week. I feel amazing. I was just in the changing room at UCSD and I saw a bunch of gym bros fresh out of a two hour training session. None of them had the kind of physique I have. I just train 80 minutes a week. This is the way forward, my friends. There's no doubt about it at all. The Busy Dad program, it's really special. So thank you all as ever for your support and we're gonna speak again next week.